You know, immigrants founded this country and made this country great. This is why it's more important than ever to finally have immigration reform. It's Hispanic Heritage Month, a chance to talk about issues that may affect the Latino culture, but more importantly, today, human uh, society. We're concluding Hispanic Heritage Month. La Sociedad Latina is concluding the Hispanic Heritage Month celebration. Uh, and what we decided to do is to bring social awareness to the campus. Uh, one issue that, that's, that's huge to, to Latinos, that's relevant to Latinos, it's immigration. So today we brought uh, the student immigrant movement. With the student immigrant movement, we're gonna have live testimonies from dreamers themselves. Um, we're gonna be informing people about the DREAM Act and what the DREAM Act is, and, uh, and speak a little bit about a comprehensive uh, immigration reform. That, that idea of the prison industrial complex is that immigrant detention is the next wave. Right, so they're building more and more immigrant detention centers in this country to hold undocumented people as they await their status or are getting ready to be deported. I came to the U.S. in 2003 with my mom. Uh, we came pretty much because of the violence in Brazil, so as she was raising me by herself, uh, we felt the need of coming, to, well, going to another place or fleeing, fleeing from Brazil, uh, pretty much. Uh, Last month that we were there, she got robbed about seven times in a month, which uh, police didn't help at all, you know. She filed, um, well, she went to see the guy and she pointed him out and everything. Um, but in the end, we were still unsafe. Um, so she knew the country, she traveled over here to work and everything. And uh, she decided to come. As she came, she tried changing her visa. And I cha tried changing my visa, but um, I was still in high school, so I could not change to a student visa. Mm -hmm. So I'm undocumented right now uh, due to that situation. Language is powerful. Just then mention them as aliens, you know, it's that you know, it's like a taboo. It's a taboo topic, regardless. But you know, calling them illegal immigrants, you know, that that term doesn't even you know exist, in, you know, in the Constitution. An immigrant is an immigrant who's immigrating here legally. You know what I mean? So uh, you know, that's why we try to educate people. They're undocumented. They don't have those nine numbers that we have. So just because they don't have that nine-digit number, they're not giving up. Opportunity that others are. Just see how hard we are. we're working to, to get an equal rights pretty much. We're trying to pass the in-state law which will allow undocumented students to, to pay the same amount, uh, amount of money as uh, documented will pay. Uh, this is not a dis uh, this is not like an imbalance. We're not getting like a discount. We're not getting more than anybody else. We, we get equal rights pretty much, you know. Uh, I was working like about 60 hours a week and going full time to college just to, to pay for that. Uh, my grades were so bad. There were C's and a few D's, mostly B's, but it's just hard. So I, I just, I, I wanted the community to get together, you know. A lot of people are afraid of being undocumented, first of all. So we're trying to gather up all the community and say, hey, you're not alone. We, you have a group backing you up, which is sin. Don't feel afraid of uh, not having documents. If anything, just try to find the group closest to you. We have a lot of groups around uh, getting together. To, to fight for better rights for the community. Today, it, it turned out great. We had a good turnout as far as uh, uh, the people that came out to support. You know, I want to thank everybody who came out to support. It was, it was great. Uh, the Simmers, the people from Sim were great. And I think uh, educating, uh, you know, people here at Bridgewater what the DREAM Act is. And, you know, sometimes when you have, uh, when you don't see things in front of you, you can't really, you know, really, you know, sense it. So uh, I think it was important for them to see kids that are at the same age going through that. You know, and I think it was great for, you know, for some Bridgewater kids here today to see that. We should stop punishing innocent young people for the actions of their parents. We should stop denying them the chance to earn an education or serve in the military. And that's why we need to pass the DREAM Act. 